Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, I present to you Chevrolet Malibu. Today, we're going to install headlights. We're going to convert them to LED. These headlights, they have a regular reflector, no projectors. Even though this is 2011 Chevrolet Malibu, you may ask, why is this car in the lift? Well, simple answer, because this is easier to swap out uh, bulbs to uh, LED conversion. If you don't have a lift, don't worry about it. You can use ramps, you can use jack. You have to lift up the car, at least a little bit off the ground. I think that's good enough. First of all, you need to take a couple of screws out of here from the bottom under the bumper. And those screws are, I think, eight millimeters, if I'm not mistaken, nine thirty second. And then you have to take some of them here. There are a couple of pins over here. That's what I need. My second hand. Okay, one here, one here. I think you can leave the ones in the back. You can leave them alone. Pull the cover out. Okay. Then there's a 10 millimeter screw in here. You have to take it out and pop the bumper up like this. Then under the hood, a couple of more 10 millimeter screws. To release these covers, there's one, there's two, there's three, and on the other side. So about six of them plus plastic pins. Pull it all out. Almost forgot another side. Well, this car didn't have a cover, but there's an engine cover too that you have to take off. Liner. It's better if you don't lose these screws and it's better if you don't drop them on the floor and run it over with your car because it's like nails. They're gonna get stuck in your tire and you're neither gonna get screws nor have good tires. All right, next step, headlights. One on the side, one in the front. The headlight simply pops out and it gets exposed. There you go, there's the headlight. Now you see why I had to pop out the headlight. There's no room anywhere back here to work, to change the bulb. Even if I squeeze my fingers through. Now, you also see that there's a problem here. We don't have enough room to install anything decent. See, like, look. Look, almost no room to work. Let's see what can fit in there. Low beam comes out. It's H11. High beam is H9, which should be the same if you were to convert it to LED. There's two tabs on the side, you kind of have to set them aside and the bulb out. All right, so on a low beam, I've decided I'm gonna use something like this, Phillips chip. Connect the headlight. lights on. Everything seems to be okay. Let's try to put it inside. And first issues. See these radiators? This one right here for high beam. It's hitting this side right here. You know everybody have their own solutions. I have my own. So here's what I came 
come up with a headlight. So we figure out that high beam was in the way. We used this LED conversion kit, the high beam. I want to try to clear it any way I can. So besides cutting the hole in a fender, I'm going to try to see if I can find something that has better clearance. So let's use this one. No. Even worse. But the only difference is that this one is brown, so who knows. Whatever. Let's see. Secret weapon. This one right here. This one gives us better clearance for sure. You can see. So let's put this conversion kit. It's short, it still has a fan, and the driver is external. And besides, this is very bright. High beam. Okay, now let's see if it's gonna clear. Yeah, it cleared. Look at this, huh? How nice. On a second thought, let's put this conversion kit also for chip into low beam and see if this is gonna clear as well it doesn't want to clear in this spot right here so this is what I did you can judge me and you can also comment why did they make the fender like this why? Maybe some kind of support or whatever. Anyhow, this area right here, that's where the conversion kit was hitting. So technically I could cut a little bit less over here and maybe a little bit more over here. But what I did is I cut the whole piece and then I uh, used the hammer to bang this side a little bit. In. Now the headlight fits in. Let me show you. All right, fits right in. All we have to do is tight it up. I just suggest connecting these lights all together. Low beams and high beams. What is this? This is our high beam. So my guess is that it would be like this. Negative is two black wires. And low beam would be, would be this one. Two black and one yellow. So black would be negative. Parker light. Oh, perfect. How nice of these people to even write on the headlight that it's 12.8 volts. Right here. Now let's go to another side. Same process on the right side. 10 millimeters. One front. Just connect right here. And work on your headlights. Move the clips just to, to the side. Pulling. You can take the bulb out, which way, whichever one is easier. Well, there's always a tool. It can help. This is what I had to do with the, with the bulb. It didn't want to come out. You see why? See? The terminal is all burnt out. Well, not burnt out, but pretty burnt. So plastic had melted. This one is 65 watts. No, you never know. You see another good reason why we should convert to LED. High beam, we're using our Secret weapon. Secret weapon. Two black wires should be negative. The other side, low beam. This one comes out right away, no problem. We're gonna use this one. Oh, that's what happened. Somebody already replaced this connector before. Ah, looks like it had the same issue as the high beam. Okay, make sure you test it, make sure everything works. And let's not forget, we need to cut this area right here or bend it. Dent. 
test fit it and see if it's going to work. Almost. Test fit again. Great. Put the bolts back in. And twist. Here's the result. Let's look at the garage door closed and see how the pattern is. I didn't adjust the headlights after I took them off. Let's turn the lights off. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think. Well, you can comment below. Don't forget about likes.